my first inflatable canoe. This is the Sea Eagle Travel Canoe. That is a magnificent looking canoe. This thing came out of the back of the car and inflated in about, well, about five minutes with an electric pump. High, high marks for portability. Well, straight up, this is the most stable canoe I've ever had. This thing can never swamp and sink. It's portable. Aloha, I'm Hawaiian Dan with SeaEagle.com. And in this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up the world's first patented, high performance, all drop stitch, Sea Eagle inflatable 16 foot travel canoe. But before we get started, I'll point out some of its unique features and incredible benefits to help you decide if it's right for you. Unlike traditional canoes, which when flipped, fill with water and sink, the Sea Eagle travel canoe floats because of its incredible design, extraordinary buoyancy, and three separate independent air chambers for added safety. This also enables you to self-rescue in a matter of seconds if needed, because the travel canoe floats much higher, doesn't scoop water, and wants to remain upright. Stability and canoes traditionally don't go hand in hand. However, let's hear what world champion paddler Ken Whiting of Paddling TV has to say about the Sea Eagle Travel Canoe. Stability. This, you know, straight up, this is the most stable canoe I've ever paddled. This is truly an impressively stable canoe, which surprised me a little bit. Uh, I thought it was going to be stable because of the flat bottom, but because of its inflatable nature, I thought that, hey, it might be sitting higher on the water than normal canoe and maybe it would feel a little less stable, but not at all. This was a very stable canoe. This is the type of canoe that I would say anybody can feel comfortable in. There's two types of stability to talk about. There's primary stability, which is when the boat's flat on the water, and it was very, very stable that way. And the secondary stability, the stability when the boat's on edge. And that's more uh, relevant to people who are going to be taking it into uh, more challenging water, some current, and they want to edge the boat, or they just uh, like to edge the boat to turn it faster and things like that. But it, it's good to know that this thing has really great secondary stability too. You put this boat on edge and it just like sits there and locks into place and you know you don't have to worry about flipping. You're not, it's not a balancing act. So highly stable canoe. I was really impressed with that. And if that's not enough, listen to what avid canoeist and Rapid Media Publishing founder Scott McGregor has to say. Stable and then it, it goes from totally stable on the flat to very, very stable on its side with not a lot in, in between, which makes sense because it's falling from its flat surface on the bottom to its flat surface on the side. But once it falls to that side, it's incredibly stable and I guess it should be with inflatable sides. Let's go play. Let's go play around it. It's easy to be stored and transported because it fits into most vehicles instead of having to be tied down on top. And this is why I got it. Because in this van, I can't carry a canoe, can't carry a kayak, but I can fit my Sea Eagle in here. And while traditional canoes can seem nearly impossible to drain, the Sea Eagle TC-16 has four easy open and close drain plugs to easily drain water out. Now that we've covered some of the features and benefits unique to the Sea Eagle Travel Canoe, let's get started with the instructions. Start by locating an area free of hazards and unfold the travel canoe. At the front of the canoe there are three air valves, one for the floor and one for each side chamber. Remove the cap and push and turn the center valve stem a quarter turn to the left until it springs into the up closed position. Repeat these steps with the remaining valves. Now be sure to never use pliers or tools to accomplish this as it may damage the valve and this type of damage is not covered under the Sea Eagle warranty. Included with your travel canoe is a hand pump with pressure gauge. This quick video explains the ins and outs. 
Hi, I'm Hawaiian Dan with SeaEagle.com. Welcome to the Manual Select HAN SUP Pump Video Instructions. To begin, let's review some of its features. The pump has a pressure gauge on the top center of the handle. The hashes and the numbers along the outside display bars, and on the inside, PSI. There's also a lever near the top to select single or double action. The pump comes with two hoses. One is a hook and style recess valve adapter that attaches to your recess air valves. The other has a cluster of three adapters, one of which is a wide mouth adapter that fits nicely into your Boston style valves. To inflate your Sea Eagle, locate your manual hand SUP pump and screw on the hose with the hook and style recess valve adapter. The adapter side has a rubber gasket on it, so be sure that the groove side of the gasket is facing out. If it's not, simply flip the gasket over and make sure that the groove side is facing out. Then attach it to your recess air valve by pushing it in, turning it to the right until the hooks lock into place. Now start by selecting the double action. This inflates during both the up and down strokes. When it gets hard to pump, switch over to single action, which makes it even easier by only inflating during the down strokes and using your body weight as leverage. Inflate all chambers to the proper working pressure of 10 PSI. Now there's no particular order of inflation. Sea Eagle has a line of electric pumps to make inflation even easier. With them, you can just connect it, connect it to a battery source, set it, set the dial to the desired PSI gauge, press it, press the button, and forget it. Our pumps will automatically shut off when the desired PSI setting has been reached. Remember, never turn the pump dial while the pump is running, and only use Sea Eagle recommended pumps, and never an air compressor. Non Sea Eagle recommended pumps and air compressors may damage your Sea Eagle and will void your Sea Eagle warranty. Now that we have the travel canoe inflated, I'd like to point out the four drain caps located at the rear. They're great for draining off water without having to flip the canoe over, and there are two on each side. Now, they are to be used only while on land and not to be opened while out on the water, which will cause the canoe to fill with water. To open, simply unscrew the caps. Tucking them under the floor will prevent them from blocking the drain holes. To close, simply screw them back in place. Now for the installation of the traditional canoe seats. You're absolutely going to love these seats. These seats are handcrafted, wood frame, nylon web seats that contour to your body. They're easy to install and they'll provide you with hours upon hours of seating comfort. Unpack them and lay them next to the travel canoe in their order of positioning. The smallest seat at the rear, the largest in the middle. Now the middle seat is optional and can be found at seaeagle.com and the remaining seat at the front position. The small seat goes in the rear and you'll notice that it's tapered to follow the contour of the canoe. Each seat attaches with four locking pins and the pins are secured with a wired split ring. The largest again is optional and goes in the middle and the remaining one which is also contoured is for the front position. The locking pins and rings are located in the orange repair kit. They are designed to hold the seats in place, even in the roughest conditions. The following simple steps make installation easy and it's a good idea to see how they work beforehand. Insert the ring and rotate it clockwise. To remove it, just continue the clockwise rotation. Now insert the pin through the seat and through the seat grommet. For ease of installation, be sure the holes on the pins run parallel or in line with the sides of the TC16. Using the curly part of the split ring, lock the seats in place. Pass it through the hole of the pin by feel. There's no need to bend over and look underneath the seat and repeat these steps with the remaining seats. The last step is the installation of the optional slide-in rear skeg. It will assist with tracking the canoe straight and true and is great for windy days out on the water. For those who wish to free up the canoe and strictly rely on paddling strokes, simply skip this next step. But for those who are new to canoeing or wish to use the skeg, roll the canoe over, remove the skeg base insert, slide in the rear skeg and lock it in place with the retaining clip. It should slide in easily, so be sure to never force it into place. The two-part adjustable length canoe paddles are optional with the travel canoe and can be found at seaeagle.com. The ergonomic hand grip has been designed for comfort and to maintain consistent paddle orientation throughout your entire paddle stroke. The paddle length can be adjusted from 48 inches to 60 inches in 2 inch increments. Because of its patented design and world's first all-drop stitch construction, the Sea Eagle Travel Canoe can be inflated to a higher pressure than other inflatables, up to 10 PSI, resulting in a much sleeker, rigid, contoured shape that's faster, lighter, more stable, portable, safer, and higher performing than any other inflatable canoe in its class. Packing up the Travel Canoe is quick and easy. If you have it installed, start by removing the rear skeg. Remove the seat pins and the seats. 
The lock and pins and seats stow beautifully in their bag included with the travel canoe. Remove the air valve caps. Now before this next step, make sure that your face is not directly over any of the valves. Push down on the center valve stems and quarter turn them to the right. The stems will lock in the down open position, allowing air to escape. Now there are many different ways to fold the travel canoe to suit your specific needs. However, I'll show you the way that works best for me. Turn the canoe on its side and push the floor in as you work your way towards the back or the rear. Push the air out as you move along. Once at the rear, make your first fold forward just in front of the skeg base. Now be sure that the skeg base remains flat in between the folds to prevent damaging or bending the skeg base. If you misplace the skeg insert and the skeg base becomes bent or misshaped, warm it with a hair dryer. Insert the skeg and allow the base to cool before removing it. Now continue with the second fold board towards the air valve located at the front, pushing out any air as you move along. Now at the front of your canoe, make your first fold back towards the rear at the rear of the Sea Eagle logo. Then make your second fold and pull it over on top of the rear fold. Note the position of my left knee. Remember to push out any remaining air. Lay out the travel canoe bag about 10 inches or two shoe widths away and next to the TC-16 and roll up the side flap nearest the canoe. Now remembering to lift with your legs, roll the canoe onto the bag. Close the bag flaps. And secure the straps by passing the strap through both the rings back over the first under the second and cinch. Now be sure to visit us at seagull.com or just click on the link in the video description below to see all of the Scotty accessories we offer to completely customize and outfit the travel canoe. If you find this video helpful and would like to see others like it, subscribe to the Sea Eagle Boats YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. Hit the notification bell and the thumbs up button. And remember to share this with your family and friends. To hear about the latest sales and new product release, be sure to subscribe to our email list by clicking on the link in the video description below. Remember to post your comments and questions in the section below and I'll post links to the products and optional accessories mentioned in this video in the video description below, as well as a timestamp table of content so you can easily jump from one section or topic of this video to another. Until next time, I'm Hawaiian Dan with Seagull.com and I'll see you out on the water. Aloha.